All right, hello guys, and welcome to another tutorial. Today, we are working at the blacksmith. So, it's going to be a little bit more. Hello. It's going to be a little bit more today uh, as to what we're doing. But, uh, let's switch that on around. Blacksmith's pretty easy to get to. If uh, you head down here, you'll see main town is right here. We got the uh, customization station over there and then we got the carpenters and up this staircase here is the blacksmith as you can see with the blacksmith sign yeah buddy alright so this is building number I'm gonna call it building number two this building number one as far as what you see but this is the most important one so the main building we're actually going to and all right so actually let's talk about this whole area first so this is where you will be melting down your metals and forging and stuff we have community storage for ores community storage for coal which actually seems to be loaded and then up here nothing in there that one hasn't been built we have some presses for things it's very interesting but yeah and then up here we have a little bit more storage and then the book so you can see three ores in through the smeltery makes an ingot you need coal or wood to get it going and then you got six well, okay, that, that might not be the number. You basically, you put your ores in, and blueprint makes tool. You forge it. You can put them together once it's forged. Oh, I guess it is two to one makes an ingot. Or a one to one with the ingot. Or a one to one with the ingot. Okay, cool. So that is everything you need to know. And we'll just let the book sit on the floor. So I guess that's the information and specialty building. Our storage is actually loaded. So 251 is how much is in here. 20 is how much you can take right now. And once it is refilled, you could take, or after, I think it's like a day, you can take more. When it gets refilled, there's more for you to take. That's a bowl, okay. And over here, Ah, look at that. We have our ores. We have some silver. That's kind of impressive. So, we have copper. Uh, this is community storage as well. And we have less than the limit, so we can take all of it if we want. We're not going to, though. Copper, iron, gold, silver, mithril. Is that it? That is it. Okay. So, that's what we have. We have copper, iron, gold, silver, mithril. Now on the other side, it's reflected, so copper, iron, silver, and mithril. Alright, so we're just going to take, um, well actually, we don't want the whole thing. We just want enough to make an ingot, right? So three. And we don't have enough, okay. That's fine. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to come into here. This will be where we forge, but the first thing you do with your ores, you take it up here, you got a little bit of storage, you got your little, um, oh, what do you call it? The separation station, is what we'll call them. And then you got your forge. So this is the hatch where you put your ores in at, and I'm just going to demonstrate that now. Um, we also have two iron there. Okay, that is good to know. So... Let's just throw that on in there. You can see it instantly went through and it's cooking. That is how much. Uh, so these little indicators show how far it is until it's done made, being made. I can talk, I swear. And then that one shows how far until that is used up. This will go automatically, but if you pump it, it's more efficient, uses less fuel, and goes a little bit faster. So we have one ingot, right? Uh huh, yes. Um, we have some ingots there. I want to try. Eh. Eh. 
Eesh. Okay, I want to try this. Hello? Okay. Eesh. Try this. No blue curtain. Nothing. That's all good. Now, what happens if you can't make anything, right? You can't can't pull it back out. It, it, right? You got this lever here. Dumps it all out. It all lands in here. It'll go in here. If there's no space, it'll just chill in there until this is emptied. Right? All right. Let's throw that copper in there. That there. Eat a little bit of food. And uh, let's do an alloy. All right, guys. So, how to make alloys? Well, that's not too hard. Um, I don't quite remember the uh, ratios, but you take two metals, right? We force this open. We can. We put them in here, right? And this is copper and iron. And what copper and iron is going to make is uh, I think it's one to one with bars. That's cool. Yes, so it is one to one for one. Uh, makes red iron. So yeah, that is how you do that. And there is red iron. There is electrum, which I think is gold and silver if I remember correctly. There is um, valium, which is Oh, what is it? Mithril and silver. And then there is obviously red iron. Um, I think there's another one. I can't think of it. Though. Yeah, that makes our red iron there. And, uh, of course, if we have leftovers, we just pull the lever there. Pops it on up. Voila. There we go. All right, so you've seen the smelting, you've seen the alloys. Now let's check out these blueprints. So this is not the one we are going to do. We're going to bring this back to an empty space. Ah, oh, there's one right there. How about that? It's actually hammer there, but we're going to take this one instead. And the way these work, you just grab the rope, pull it up and down. It's pretty cool. All right, so you can see this is your cool head or whatever you're going to make. This is the requirement. It requires three of any ingot. Um, no max to matching though. Sorry. And we're going to do it out of copper for demonstration. Right? Alright, so that goes in there. That's going, right? That's going through that pretty quick. If we pump this though, you'll see those flames start coming out. And we use our fuel a lot slower. Unless we're already done with it. Alright. How about that? We're already done with it. Sweet. Alright, and that is how you use molds to make things, right? So, let's see, we're going to put this in here for the next uh, lucky soul that comes through here. Always, 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 always put your blueprints back when you're done. Because if it despawns, you got to go find it. I think. I think they made it that way, right? You got to find it. Yeah, probably. Alright, so. We can't do this out here. Hold up. We need a thing. Not over here. Aha! Garbage hammer. That's what we need. Cool. So, this only applies to blades. So, if you have a pickaxe, or if you have hammers, or anything else that isn't a blade, this does not apply to it. Copper is very fast. That was very fast. I have not done copper in a long time. That was extremely fast. You take it, come over here, right, and then you just hit it, and it will sharpen on the edge that you're hitting on. So you see the top there is sharper, but the bottom isn't yet. And once you see that, where it stops doing the thing, the sparking thing, it's no longer good. So you gotta put it over the fire again. Burn yourself a little bit, adds a little bit of flavor. You can see it's not doing anything. 
because I wasn't hitting the back. Oh, and you saw the blue. That means it's done, right? Yeah, because it's just white now. So that is how you know it's done. Copper is the fastest thing you can use. We're going to put this out here. You can do it with pretty much any tool, but if you're going to do better equipment, then I don't suggest it. And now that we've done that, look at that. We could put that there, right? But let's see here. Um, I don't have a chisel. I was going to demonstrate this to you guys, but I think I will just explain it because I don't have the tools for it. So, if you have a piece of flint and a, and a hammer or a rock or something to beat it with, you can do that. Or you can do a hammer and chisel because a flint is a replacement for a chisel. So, you put a tool on there, right? Let's say, let's say I want to put this one on there, right? Put that there. Doink. You see it grabs it now so I would take a flint or a chisel hold it here and then a hammer or a rock on a stick and beat it and it'll just pop off that way say you want to change up what tools go where like you want to put this on a different handle you can just pop it on off and that is how that works now I believe the last thing is oh, hello guy He's got a nice big bag. Um, last thing that I'm going to show, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Yeah, I think that's everything, except for this. So, this is a recycling station. If you have a tool that's almost broken, or say you find tool pieces that you don't need, like these blades, for example, I don't need all four of them. Or, in this case, this axe head, because I'm not going to do one out of copper. You can just come on over here. And by the way, we do have eight coal in there. This will not activate on its own. You actually have to heat it up. And, word of advice, if you put your hands behind your head, you can have a seizure. And it will do it faster. See, there's nothing in there anymore. And we got two copper from it. Now you don't only have three slots and if those are all taken up you can't put anything else in. That's just the three that show up. So say this one's gold and I melt down iron. It'll just replace one of these with an iron. Um, but like let's say this one disappears and iron pops up here. This is still in the system. So if I put more in there this will still be there. It just won't show it. So yeah, you don't have to worry about losing, like say you're all the way up here, you don't have to be like, oh, I gotta go find more of a pour. No, it's good. It's all good. Alright, and you don't get the full amount back, so I think it costs three to make and I only got two back. That is perfectly fine. We're gonna put that in there. And that is how the blacksmith works. As far as what's over here... This is kind of the specialty stuff, and I'm not going to include this with today's stuff, but you get the special tools and stuff and do things. This is a basic training, though. We're not doing basic training, or we're not doing anything past basic training. So, yeah, that's why I'm calling this the specialty place. I think that's another one that you can build different from those. I gotta research those more, but that's a, that's a later game thing. You don't need to worry about that. Lastly, your skills, because you do get skills for blacksmithing. Oh, can't go up there. So, if you come up this hill, you can go that way to the mines and town hall. Or, if this is built, you can go up these stairs here. And... Let's see, we got a shrine there, and we've got something up there. Let's check out the shrine first. So this shrine is where you check out your skills and your experience in blacksmithing. So you can see I've got almost nothing. I say almost because I just did blacksmithing, but it's not showing anything. 
Um, but yeah, it'll it'll light up a bar however much you have until the next point. Once you get a point, you can activate one of these. And the way you do that, you'll get the point, right? And it'll glow, I think, gold around it. You pull it. And then you just gotta... Come on. Oh, wait, you gotta grab the blade. That's right. I'm special. You do the skill, which in this case... Here, let's get down here. You do three, it powers up. You do another one. That is that skill. Let's do uh, this one. Oh, I can't even practice those? Okay. Well, they changed it. You used to be able to practice those. Well, yeah, that's, that's how it works. So you can practice your skills. You can upgrade them. Let's go up the hill here. Because that is part of the blacksmith. And I want to make sure there's nothing else. I believe this just goes elsewhere. So uh, we have the forts all over there. And then the bandit camps are just on the other side of that hill there. And this goes that way. Crosses the little bridge over here. Oh wait, no, it's right there. So it crosses that bridge. Um, goes down there. This is the back way. That's the main way from spawn. But... Yeah, force is over there, and we will be doing a video on that later. I see like a, a like what looks like one of those red plants with the green, and it concerns me, but that's okay. I know they're not this close. But anyways, guys, that is the blacksmith. That is what is going on up in there. Honestly, this place is probably the most busy in town. I think I'd say. I think that's where most people are at. It is right back here. Um, and I think it's the coolest place at night. Oh, what's my hand doing? But, um, yeah. I, I think this could also be the laggiest point in town with everyone in it. So, you know. Depends on what server you're on. But anyways, thank you for watching. Got more videos coming. Just been busy lately. <laughs> But I'll keep pumping them out. So I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.